And I might conceivably call into the pub for a pint to steady my nerves. Trabona. I do know the words, Miss Price. I'm a local. How can Trabona. you know the words when Miss Price Trabona. doesn't? You wish to put this on Miss Price's bill? That is correct. I don't believe with Matt. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Miss Price's teacher, Emilius Brown from London. Professor Brown, of course. Oh, how many times I've seen your name on your packages to Miss Price. Oh, extremely masculine hand, I think. I should have known. Professor Amelius Brown. The very same. I'll confess something. Such was the nature and frequency of your correspondence with Miss Price. I ventured to hope there was something of a personal interest between you. Uh, if there really were, Miss Price is a fine woman. I must heartily agree. We're very fond of her here. I'm sure. In point of fact, how many times I've said to myself, oh, fortunate is the man who can secure Miss Price for a wife. Uh, one could say that, yes. You yourself are not married. Alas, no. These are strange and fearful times in which we live, my good woman. Who could ask someone you, you cherish to share such an uncertain future? Very well. Don't say I didn't warn you, Professor Brown. One of these days, you mark my word, someone will come riding out of nowhere to seize and carry off Miss Price before your very eyes. I shouldn't be surprised, Charles. Good morning. And who was that, may I ask? Professor Emilius Brown from London. He's come to see Miss Price. A very good friend, I understand. Ah, indeed. <laughs> but Mrs. Bobday seemed to fancy you. Shh! I consider her a very dangerous person. What, uh? Mrs. Hobday is the most dangerous of species, a matchmaker. <laughs> and massing of barges in French and Dutch Channel ports. The Prime Minister has told the nation to be on the alert for signs of a possible invasion. That was the news. To think I might have been able to do something about all this. It's out of your hands now, my dear.